Hello, this is Scott Pacino, editor of Telecoms.com here at MWC 2023. And I'm delighted to be speaking to Philippe from Corecom. So, Philippe, I can tell from your badge that you're talking about millimetre wave a lot at the show. So perhaps you could start by um, giving us some sort of some highlights of the millimetre wave uh, industry right now. Yeah, no, we are. Thank you very much, Scott, for having me. Uh, we are pretty excited by what's happening at the show itself. So that's why we are saying let's talk about millimetre wave. Because, uh, because we have the, uh, the advantage to have uh, a, a live commercial millimeter wave network from Telefonica covering the whole three of the FIRA, uh, powered by, by Ericsson uh, infrastructure. So it's really for the first time in this super busy environment that is the, the, the madness of the FIRA that we can really enjoy a millimeter wave live, live network on a multiplicity of devices. And we will see, I will show you later the, the devices that we have. So the, the multiplicity of devices, the diversity of form factors, ranging from smartphones uh, to Wi-Fi routers to uh, connected PCs and to uh, fixed wireless access CPEs and to modules, is really showing the vast, uh, the, the, the vast area, a vast array of uh, devices that Millimeter Wave can, can serve. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't know if it's you're doing, but I've had a pretty good 5G signal the whole time I've been here, so, <laughs> so that's good. Um, Pat, could you tell us a little bit more about how Millimeter Wave will help out with, um, with the demands on networks, because they're obviously going up rapidly? Yeah, no, it's exactly why uh, we believe that 5G Millimeter Wave as a frequency band is complement, complementary to, uh, to 5G mid-band. So most of the uh, operators around the world, they have access to already 5G mid-band. And then they are adding millimeter wave in high density locations to exactly to cope with these capacity, um, high capacity or high density areas. So let's take an example of uh, um, venues. Everybody has in mind, you know, let's put millimeter wave in stadiums, but I would say let's put millimeter wave also in uh, train stations, in airports, in shopping malls, in busy streets uh, of, of, uh, of, of Europe and the like. And we have done a study where it shows that this is the, the major pain point of connectivity of subscribers today is really in those high density areas. They are saying, oh, in the crowd, uh, I have issue with a downlink uh, streaming or whatever. In the crowd, when I am in a crowded location, I have an issue with uploading my content, whether it's professional content like me, you know, doing an upload of my latest PowerPoint to my to my boss or you as a journalist, you know, trying to upload your uh, your your latest video to your uh, to your editor in chief uh, or or of course uh, entertainment and sharing to the social media. So we are talking about both upload and download very difficult in those crowded places where you needed extra capacity and we are super happy uh, Telefonica and, and others uh, are really bringing these uh, uh, new capabilities of their network by complementing the existing 5G with islands of millimeter wave. So it's like a sea of 5G with islands of capacity with millimeter wave. That's great. So that's some really good examples of, of how it's being put to you. So one other one that I just to finish off, if I could ask you to comment on in like within Europe, how is the technology helping bridge the digital divide? Yeah. So that's another uh, very familiar use case for uh, 5G millimeter wave is really to use it for fixed wireless access. So fixed wireless access would be like, imagine like a wireless fiber. You know, uh, the, the, the many operators, especially in Europe, they have plans to deploy fiber, but sometimes it's uh, in other parts of the world, it can be costly or it can be long also. There is a certain time to market before the fiber reaches your home. So whether it is temporary or permanent, uh, the fact to use millimeter wave as a fixed wireless access technology helps to bridge the digital divide. Me, what we mean by bridging the digital divide is really to bring uh, uh, extreme capacity, extreme throughput to those underserved markets. And what do they do with it? You know, they are able to play, to live, to work in a much better condition. And we are super happy to proud, for example, to bring it to uh, uh, Indonesia with, uh, with uh, Telecom Cell, for example. Uh, it allows, it allows the, the people in underserved markets to have, um, to have a better access to education, better access to healthcare. So these are really tangible benefits we are very proud of uh, to, to bring to the, to the society at large. That's great. Thank you very much. Thank you.